Hey friends, I know it's been a hot minute. Guys, what is up? It has been a hot minute since we last chatted um, and I know it's my fault. So for those of you guys who are new here, I'm Tiff. I am a digital branding consultant, which we'll get into a little bit later, and also a content creator here on YouTube. I share a lot about my life abroad, my life experiences here, the life lessons that I've learned, and I took a little break, just a little break off of YouTube, um, but for me it felt really long because in the 100 videos that I posted on YouTube, can y'all believe that I posted 100 videos on YouTube? I can't even believe that I posted 100 videos on YouTube, but in the 100 videos that I posted on YouTube, I think I've only skipped maybe one or two weeks so this is kind of like the longest break that I've personally taken so oof, I've missed you guys so much uh, this break was very much impromptu it was not planned um, but I'm so glad that I took a little time off just because I was working on a few things which we'll get into a little bit later in the video too just wanted to figure out you know what content I wanted to share with you guys this year and all of that fun stuff so um, yeah we'll get into more of that later in the video but I figured today um, we could have brunch together you guys know that brunch is my favorite so if you want to get your coffee your matcha your tea your mimosas whatever you drink in um, if you want to make yourself a little brunch I'm about to make some brunch I think I'm gonna make this kind of like loaded avocado toast and we can sit down and have a proper catch-up because yeah we are long overdue for one but um, yeah I am starving so let me make some brunch and then yeah we'll catch up also the weather has been so gloomy like this has been Paris for the last few weeks Okay, so I'm gonna make some loaded avocado toast, which is basically just avocado toast with an egg on top and um, my favorite Trader Joe's seasoning. Where did I put it? I got like a bunch of these. Oh my gosh, I got like a bunch of these when I came home from the States. Ugh, it's so good. Because I was feeling major FOMO when it first came out and everyone was posting about it, so I was like, I need to get some of this. So I'm gonna put some of this on it. And, ooh, I also have some spinach. Yeah, I'm just gonna spice up this avocado toast a little bit. Um, and then obviously I'm gonna make a matcha latte and uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be my brunch. And also if you're having a brunch with me today too, comment below what you're having or comment below what snack you're having because I'm like literally obsessed with food and uh, just want more brunch ideas too. <laughs> having my gluten-free bread. And it's always so hard to open. Yum. And I'm literally obsessed with ghee. I put ghee on everything. So I'm gonna put some ghee on it. And yes, I literally heat up my bread on the stove because I don't have a toaster. Probably need to get one, but um, yeah, for now I just do this. <laughs> All right, and while we're waiting for that, um, maybe I can start my start making my matcha latte um but oh my gosh guys in the past over the past few days two people have said two people have asked me if matcha tastes like dirt i was like what so matcha for any of you guys who haven't tried it yet it's literally just japanese green tea i will say it does taste a little bit bitter if you don't maybe add a little bit of honey to it but it does not taste like dirt i was like what uh so let's make the matcha I literally can't with myself. I was recording for like a whole 15 to 20 minutes and the microphone wasn't on. So I'm pretty much done with brunch. <laughs> like I was like, let me be cute and have brunch with them. Um, and then this happened, so sorry, but um, I can still have my matcha latte with you. 
still got my matcha. Honestly, it tastes much better with almond milk. I use coconut milk this time. Maybe it's just the brand I used, but I'm not really feeling it. Ugh, okay. Now it's time to really catch up. But yeah, I really just wanted to share what I've been up to, what I've been thinking about, reflecting on, what's been going on in general, because I have to say, like over the past month or so, I've just been thinking a lot about, you know, what else do I wanna share with you guys? Like, yes, my content up until this point has been a lot about life in Paris, but I feel like there's so much more I could share and teach, especially with the background that I have in luxury brand management, digital marketing, all of this stuff. So um, I'm not gonna lie, I've been feeling a little bit stuck on, you know, what I want my content to look like this year, but we'll get into that um, a little bit later in the video. I've also had a few really cool opportunities come about um, that I had been working on, for example, the CNBC news segment. So I know a few of you guys saw the segment. Um, a few of you guys were sending me DMs about it before I even posted about it. But I did this segment with CNBC News. They have this series called Unlocked on their YouTube channel, where they basically interview people who live in different cities, um, and they talk about you know how much they pay in rent, the different amenities that they have. I was really excited when they reached out about that. I actually have some behind the scenes clips of that day. It was just so kind of bizarre to have like a production team like in my apartment shooting me and the whole time I was like oh my gosh their editing team is literally going to hate me because I kept pausing and hesitating but I think it came out so well and it was also so nice to like read some of the comments and you know just a lot of people who are subscribed to my channel were just rooting me on and just uh, sending the sweetest messages so thank you guys so much for your support on that that was one thing that I was working on um, over this little break and also as I'm sharing some of the things that I've been working on I would love for you guys to comment Comment below you know what have been some of your major wins over the last few months would love to hear from you because I just love that this community is filled with such badass people and honestly you guys inspire me every day just with what you're doing and what you've accomplished so yeah in the comments I really want you to um, share what you guys have been up to and uh, what some of your major wins have been um, but another thing, uh, another cool opportunity that came about was um, this partnership with Amazon Fashion. So um, I'm so excited and honored that I get to kick off Black History Month with Amazon Fashion. So I now actually have an Amazon storefront so you guys can now shop some of my favorite products. So like my outfits, YouTube gear, my favorite books. I also have on there a list of black owned products and designers that are now available on Amazon too. So feel free to check that out and honestly while we're on the topic of Black History Month I don't think I really shared with you guys that I actually did a segment not too long ago um, with ABC News and it was more so around Josephine Baker being honored in Paris but um, they also had me speak about you know African-American history in Paris because honestly guys Paris is in so many ways a part of African-American history and I kind of say this in the segment as well so I'll link that below. Oh my gosh I have so many things that I'm uh, linking below and sharing with you guys. I feel like I just haven't really sat down and caught up with you in so long and then also I have been taking a bunch of one-on-one -on -one calls with some of you guys so um, I'm not sure if you guys know this or not but I do have a one-on-one -on -one service where you can book a call with me. At first it was more so around like for people who needed help navigating life in Paris, but then I started to also offer it for people who, you know, need help with social media branding, especially since that's my background. Um, having done the MBA in luxury brand management, having worked as a creative and digital manager in the beauty industry where I literally led social media branding campaigns and even just all that I've been able to do over the past few years with my business, I was like, I have so much to share. So now I offer my one-on-one -on -one calls for, you know, digital branding, for, you know, either personal use, you know, if you are just, you know, trying to figure out how to share your story on social media or for businesses as well. So yeah, it's been really cool to get to know some of you um, through, you know, having these one-on-one -on -one calls and just helping you in this way. And uh, you guys are pretty inspirational. Again, just hearing a lot of your stories and your plans and your dreams and what you want to do and how you want to showcase that on social media has been really cool. And I'm just so grateful to be able to help you out in that way. If any of you guys are ever interested in that too, um, I'll put the link to that in my description box as well if you ever want to book a one-on-one -on -one call with me. Because guys, I honestly think, you know, like when I was sitting down just thinking about, for example, all of these opportunities, like the CNB News segment, ABC News, Amazon, I was also in the New York Times and other media outlets. When I, when I really started to look at everything, I truly do think that a lot of these opportunities are coming about because, because I figured out a way to really share my story and connect with my audience. And I really learned how to kind of put myself out there in a way that's 
authentic to me. And I think that that's a big piece too, is really knowing how to tell your story and show up on social media in a way that is so true and authentic to you. And that's something that I really love helping other people, people do. So yeah, having those calls and being able to connect with you outside of just YouTube and Instagram has been so cool. Like I honestly love, love, love that. And I um, really want to continue doing these calls. Gosh, my back is starting to hurt. Oh, oh, gosh. Side note, I feel like I've been having all of these like aches and pains. I am like, what is going on? I also have scoliosis. I don't know if I've ever told you guys this. And actually when I was younger, I had to wear like a plastic back brace like under my clothes to school. Ugh, so I feel like sometimes it's just, uh, doesn't feel the best. Also, maybe I'll go out and uh, sit on the balcony in a little bit. Ooh, there's also a little piece left. Three days later. Guys, I literally could not with myself. Again with this freaking audio, oh my gosh. I was in the middle of editing this video and um, so after that little sit down scene, I went to the balcony and did all of this cute stuff and the audio was all jacked up. But anyways, um, I'm actually right now about to head to brunch and I really don't want to be late, but wanted to um, finish our conversation. Uh, but the last thing, just outside of catching you guys up on what I've been up to, um, is I also feel like in so many ways I'm like ready for a new chapter, the next level, and it's scary because I don't know what that looks like yet. And honestly, every year since I've lived in Paris, I've been literally pushed into a new direction and I feel like that's happening now. It's like I'm forced to level up or pushed into a new chapter or something, like it's crazy. And I can totally feel that happening now. So yeah, I definitely feel like I'm in the midst of a major transition and comment below if you guys are feeling this way too, but I don't know, like I feel a rebrand coming on or like some type of reinvention or, you know, me trying to rediscover myself in some way. And I would love to take you guys on this journey with me um, and share with you guys some of the things that I'm doing to kind of figure out what that next step could be for me and see if that helps you too if you guys are kind of feeling this way too because yeah I don't know over the past month or so I've also been feeling kind of like unmotivated and as I was sharing earlier just kind of stuck so so yeah I don't know guys but I definitely feel like it's time to level up so we gonna do that one way or another um so yeah, let's see. But your girl is ready for it. But anyways, I have to head to brunch, but it was so good to catch up with you guys. Can't wait to hear what you've been up to. And yeah, I am back. I hope that you guys enjoy this little catch up and I will see you next week.